Hey everyone, we're uh, live and uh, we'll be running through a, a dumbbell workout today for those that are watching this after the fact. So I'm just on a couple minutes early, so we'll just hang out and uh, wait until noon and then uh, we'll get started with uh, the superset workout. So um, in the meantime, you'll need a couple sets of dumbbells probably a heavier set and a lighter set. And um, you can kind of follow along however you want. So you can do it in, um, hey Laurie, uh, you can do this uh, however you want in terms of your, uh, your reps. So if you wanna work more of your cardio, you can do uh, a, a, a lot more reps so you can go towards the 15 range maybe even 20 range if you want to work more on your strength then you can be at a lower range say like six to eight reps with a, a much heavier uh, set of dumbbells and then if you want to be um, somewhere in the, the middle say the 10 to 12 range so that's where I'm going to do it today then um, just grab something in the middle there and that will help you with the, um, the muscle strength, um, a little bit of endurance. And then if you're going to a round failure, um, you'll work on your muscle size as well. So for people who want to tone, that's uh, generally the range that they want to work in. Hey, Lindsay and Didi, thank you for uh, welcoming us back. Um, it's uh, great to be back for all of us and, and we're really looking forward to it um, and uh, these classes. So um, I'm going to be running the dumbbell classes over the next month on Mondays and uh, give you a bunch of different dumbbell workouts. Dave this week is going to be doing the um, beginner workout at 7.30 a.m. on Tuesdays and um, the beginner workout on Thursdays at 4.30. And then uh, Justin's going to be doing the HIT training, so high intensity interval training, on Thursdays at 4:30, and at uh, <clears throat> sorry Tuesdays at 4:30, and Thursdays at 7:30 a.m. And then um, I'm going to record a couple pre-recorded classes, one uh, beginner and one HIT for uh, Saturdays. So if you need to work out through your weekends, that will uh, help you with that one. So um, without further ado, we'll get started into it. So we're just going to go through a little bit of a warm up um, so you can follow along with me. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit of a timer started. So we're just going to start with our groins. So we're just going to move side to side like this, just stretching out our groins, getting them a little bit more mobile. <clears throat> We're going to do all these for 30 seconds just to get our heart moving and just get that mobility, especially if you've been in your chair. So in three seconds, we're going to do some standing jacks. So now, so arms up. You can't see me because I'm a little bit far from the camera here. I'll try and get behind the bench. So <clears throat> there you go. You got my full view now. So back and forth like this. Getting the arms going, getting the legs moving. You can move into a full jumping jack if you have the space. And three, two, one. We're gonna do uh, some walking hip openers. So just opening up our hips. And you can kind of walk forward if you have the space. You'll lose me in the camera, so I'm just gonna stay stationary here. So again, this is just gonna mobilize our hips, mobilize our spine a little bit, get us moving in three, two, one. We're gonna to move to agility skater. So just going side to side. Another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Pause for a second 
And we're gonna move on to arm swings. So just full, uh, actually we'll do arm swings back and forth like this. So opening up our chest, stretching out our back. So back and forth, just like that. And you can kind of keep your legs moving if you want, like I am. <clears throat> Five seconds. Then we're gonna do something new for me, so a little bit of a punch combination. So you're gonna stand forward, left hand throws a jab, right hand comes across. So jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Boom, boom. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, and rest. So we should be warmed up now, getting our heart rate going. So grab, grab a quick drink if you need to. And I'm gonna just introduce the first two exercises. So if you have a bench, you can do it on the bench. If you don't have a bench, you can go to the floor for this one. I'm gonna do it off the bench because you can see me a lot better. Um, so the first one's a chest fly and the second one's a back fly. So the chest fly you're probably going to use about double the weight that you're going to use for the back fly. So for me, I'm going to be working in the 10 to 12 range. So for the chest fly, I'm going to use around 20, 25 pounds for uh, men. Uh, back fly, I'm going to be around probably 10 pounds. Um, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to get started in five seconds. So three, two, one. So open up, close. So open up, close. Do how many, however many reps you want, and then we're gonna rest until the next minute. So once you're done, you're just gonna take a quick breather. We're gonna wait uh, the rest of the minute. So we got about 25 seconds, so you can catch your breath and uh, get ready for your back fly. So the back flies, when we do them, we're gonna be bent over and we're gonna open up like this. And get ready, because we're gonna go in about five seconds here. So five, three, two, one. Go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've done my reps, so I'm gonna just sit and relax, catch my breath, and get ready for round two. So we're gonna do this um, two more rounds for each. So uh, once the minute ends, we'll start with the chest fly and then we'll move on to the back fly. And hey, Elizabeth, I see you in the comments there. Nice to see you. Hope uh, the baby's doing well. So we got 15 seconds. Catch your breath. Get ready. 10 seconds. So grab your dumbbells. <clears throat> fly back. Three, two, one, go. And we have about 30 seconds left before you're gonna start your back flies. So again, catch your breath, grab a drink of water if you need it. <clears throat> so really important with the chest flies that we open and we close. I see a lot of people, they kind of keep their elbows bent and they kind of do one of these things. So try and get the full range of motion. Same with the back flies, which we're gonna start in three two, one, go. So open, 
close, open, close, open, close, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm done my round, so that's round two for me. So gonna catch my breath again and then get right back into the chest flies. Um, one thing I should talk about while we have a little bit of time is just the breathing. So for the chest fly, as you come up, you're exhaling. As you come down, you're inhaling. So exhale, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. For the back fly, it's opposite. So this is the breathe out, this is the breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. So we're gonna get going in three, two, one. Last round of your chest flies. So open, close, open, close. <sighs> exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So again, I'm just catching my breath. And then we're gonna move on to our last round of the back fly, and then we're gonna switch exercises. So for the back fly, again, really focus on your back, having good posture here. So don't let it slouch and round. You really gotta get engaged, so you should feel your abs flexed. And I'll show you this from the side view. So five seconds, then we're gonna get going. Three, two, one, go. So open, close. Open, close. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So you can catch your breath here. I'm just going to move my bench out of the way for the next one. So 20 seconds, then we're gonna start with split squats. So you'll want a set of dumbbells in each hand. And then our second one is gonna be single leg deadlifts. So you can probably use roughly the same weight. So three seconds, two, one, go. So we're gonna drop down, come back up. Drop down, up. So two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I gotta switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we got 20 minutes or 20 seconds to spare. So quick drink of water. Ten seconds, and we're gonna start with our single leg deadlifts. So I'm gonna start with my left leg. Three, two, one, forward, up. So hinging at the hips here. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna switch legs. You'll notice my right leg is a lot less balanced here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And we got 15 seconds to spare. Then we're going to get back into our split squats. So I'm going to show you from the side view this time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Just drop down just above the ground, back up. Notice how I'm straight up the whole time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We got 20 seconds, then we'll do our single leg deadlifts. Ten seconds. So again, I'll show you the side profile here with keeping my back straight, hopefully, and go. seconds and then we start our last round of these. Five seconds then we're into split squats. So I'll go head on again and go. Legs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I was quick there. Got over twenty seconds. Twenty seconds left. Then we do deadlifts. Round of deadlifts in three, two, one, go. <clears throat> really focus on that hip hinge. Six, seven, nine, ten. And we're done round three. So we're going to move on to a core exercise next. So I'm just going to grab a mat. <clears throat> so we're going to do Russian twists to start in three, two, one, go. So preferably look forward and just drop the dumbbell to each side. And again, this would be one, two. So I'm at eight, nine, ten. Get a little bit of a rest. Move into a half kneel for our next exercise. So we're going to do a half kneel lift. So I'll just show you real quick while we're resting. So start low, and then you're gonna move the dumbbell up and across your body. So it's the swinging motion like that. So 10 seconds, and then we'll start. Five, three, two, one, go. So across, 
down, across, down. Keep your eyes on the dumbbell the whole time. Seven, eight, nine, ten, switch sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we got about 15 seconds before we start rushing twists round two. So breathe. And five, four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lots of time here before we get into our half meals. So Russian twists on round three. What we can do is keep our feet up in the air to make it a bit more challenging. You still don't want to twist too much though. So you want to see your legs stay stable or as stable as they can. So 10 seconds, then we'll start with our half kneel lifts. Five, three, two, one, up and across, up and across. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, lost my balance. Ten. Then we got 20 seconds before we start round three here. So I'm going to do these with my heels up this time. So three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lots of time for rest. We got 40 seconds. So that one's a quick one. So again, with these half kneels, one piece of advice, try and keep this front leg stable. So a lot of people will do this as they swing open and you lose your core. So start in your pocket with your eyes up and across. That knee stays straight there. It's just your arms that are moving. And we'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we got 20 seconds before we start our final round. For these, we're going to do squat to presses and then deadlift to rows. So something in the middle here. So we'll start with squat to presses in three, two, 
One, go. So squat, press, squat, press. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Catch your breath, get a drink, 30 seconds. Hopefully I'm not the only one breathing hard. We got 15 seconds. So we're gonna do deadlift, roll, come up. Forward, deadlift, roll, come up. So three, two, one, forward, row, pull up. Forward, row, pull up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Catch your breath. We got twenty five seconds. And then we go into round two. Ten seconds. So squat to press to start. In three, Two, one, go. Drop, press, 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 press. Eight, nine, ten. And my Cassie dog has come into the video. She likes personal training me sometimes. 30 seconds, then we'll deadlift and row. <clears throat> so good back posture when you go through these. We got 10 seconds. So I'll show you side profile here. Three, two, one, forward, row, up, forward, row, up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Twenty-five seconds, then we go into our last round, and then we'll finish off with a couple stretches. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> so I'll show you the side profile for the squats. It's dropping, good back posture, thrust up, don't over arch, three, two, one, go. So drop, up, press, drop, up, press, drop, up, press, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty seconds. Then our last exercise. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Forward, 
row up, forward, row up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So grab a mat if you have one and we'll stretch in 20 seconds here. Ten seconds. So we're going to start in a half kneel and go into the lizard pose. So down like this, stretch forward. You should feel this in your hip flexor on this leg and maybe your back hip flexor on the other leg. And let's switch sides. Kneel into it. You can press this leg into your triceps to get a bit more groin connection as well. Good. Now we're going to go into downward dog. So push up position, push your hips up and back. Try and keep your legs straight if you can. If you have really tight hamstrings like myself, you might bend your knees a bit so you can get a little bit more action into your back. And you can even pump out your calves a bit. And we're going to spin around, go on our backs, T position, right knee up, over top, grab with your left hand, pull towards the ground, look towards your right shoulder. Unravel yourself, left knee up, over, pull towards, pull with your right hand, look towards your left shoulder. And you're gonna spin around now, and we're just gonna finish with child's pose. So, hands forward, push your butt into your heels, forehead to the mat, and you can creep your fingertips forward until you feel the stretch in your lats. And you can relax. So do any more stretching you want, but we're at the end of our half hour. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next Monday. Hopefully you're as sweaty as I am.